Google recently released Gemini 2.5 Flash for everyone. So it is generally available now and it's also available in their API. So one thing which I noticed in Google Gemini 2.5 Flash is when compared to Gemini 2.0 Flash, if you look at the output token price, it is $2.50 per 1 million token. Gemini 2.5 Flash is 40 cents per 1 million token. But you don't have thinking mode in Gemini 2.0 Flash. With Gemini 2.5 Flash, you get thinking mode. Now, this is almost 6x increase for output tokens. Even for input tokens, for Gemini 2.0 Flash, it is 10 cents. For your Gemini 2.5 Flash, it is 30 cents, which is a 3x increase. Now, does this increase in price justify any performance increase between Gemini 2.5 Flash when compared to Gemini 2.0 Flash? Another thing is that they have also introduced a Gemini 2.5 Flash Lite, which is their most cost efficient and fastest model. And what they are saying is that Gemini 2.5 Flash Lite has all around higher quality than 2.0 Flash Lite on coding, math, science, reasoning, multi-model benchmarks. So even 2.5 Flash Lite has reasoning uh, and non-reasoning or thinking, non-thinking. Now, if you look at the price of Gemini 2.5 Flash Lite, when you compare the price when to input uh, tokens, it is only 10 cents per million. And for output, it is only 40 cents per million. So this is somewhere in the ballpark of or almost same as Gemini 2.0 Flash. Now, let's compare the performance of Gemini 2.5 Flash versus Gemini 2.0 Flash versus Gemini 2.5 Flash Lite on a set of prompts to see how these models perform against each other and is it worth paying this 6x extra cost for output price, you know, with Gemini 2.5 flash thinking, right? So let's uh, test it out. So what I've done is that I have a series of prompts for which I'm going to test these three models in Google AI Studio. So the first prompt which I want to try out is that I'm going to give this Delhi Metro map and I want to move from a station called Tekri Kalan over here, right? To old Faridabad over here. This is on the, uh, what is this line? This is on the violet line. This is on the green line. So there are two possibilities here. One is an interchange at Kriti Nagar, take the, you know, blue line, go to Mandi house and then go. Or the other one is, you know, interchange at Inderlok. Again, interchange at Kashmir gate. So both solutions are valid, right? Now, uh, this is about image interpretation and how it can do it because Gemini 2.5 flash or 2.0 flash is multi-model. So let's see how it works. So first I tried it with Gemini 2.5 flash. I set the thinking budget to the maximum possible tokens, which is 24, 576 over here. I gave this image and I said, how do I travel from Tekri Kalan to Old Faridabad? The model, uh, you know, gave the output in 13 seconds. It did its thinking process and it gave the correct answer over here. Tikri Kalan, go to Kirti Nagar, Kirti Nagar to Mandi House, Mandi House to Old Faridabad. So which is what I had mentioned over here. So you can go from Tikri Kalan to Kirti Nagar to Mandi House, right? The blue line and then take this violet line and you can come to Old Faridabad over here, right? which is the right answer. And it took close to 13 seconds over here. Now I gave the same to Gemini 2.0 flash. It says, take the green line from Tikri Kalan, change to violet line at Kashmir gate, take violet line. So it is kind of not giving the output over here. It's not able to solve this problem, right? Now let's look at Gemini 2.5 flash light. It says, take, uh, you know, take the green line, go to a light at Inderlok, take red line, alight at Kashmir gate, at Kashmir gate, change to violet line and go to Faridabad, which is also correct, right? You can take the green line, go to Inderlok, take the red line, go to Kashmir gate, take the violet line and you come over here. Now versus this, which is the optimal route? I don't know. But if you see over here, both, uh, you know, this involves a little bit of image interpretation and thinking. So here, Gemini 2.5 flash and 2.5 flash light gave the correct response. Whereas Gemini 2.0 flash kind of failed over here. 
okay the next problem i gave was my favorite road rash problem so what i said is that create a simple road rash game using 3.js player score needs to be shown code should be in a single html file that should run directly on chrome this is the gemini 2.5 flash okay and this is close to 24k um, tokens for thinking budget 16 seconds it took right now this is with gemini 2.0 flash it took close to uh, 11 seconds it has also given the code and this is with gemini 2.5 flashlight for the same prompt and it took close to 45.2 seconds over here and these are the so this is with gemini 2.5 flash if you see over here this was the game which was you know road rush game which was created by this particular code right a code from gemini 2.5 flash now this is from gemini 2.0 not bad okay flash seems to be 2.5 flash seems to be more aesthetic over here when compared to 2.0 flash right this is with your uh gemini 2.5 flash light over here if you see when it crashes it's not the game is not restarting or something so here i like gemini 2.5 flash over the other two models 2.5 flash light or say 2.0 flash right so this was another test which i another prompt which i tried okay here you know 2.0 flash is slightly better than 2.5 flash light with thinking that is in this particular prompt according to me right now i tried another prompt so this is about creating 50 realistic bouncing balls inside a spinning cube creating a three-dimensional model all code should be contained within a single html file the ball should bounce off the walls of the cube and should be rendered with proper physics to simulate realistic motion the cube should rotate slowly around its center to provide a dynamic view of the scene so with gemini 2.5 flash it took close to 23 seconds to generate this code the same prompt with uh, sorry this is gemini 2.5 flash yeah so this is gemini 2.0 flash it took 16 seconds and it generated the code right uh, now we have 2.5 flash light which took 44 seconds to generate the code now let's one thing to note is that 2.0 flash doesn't have thinking other models 2.5 flash and 2.5 flash light have thinking right so this is the latest preview 2.5 flash light in all the other cases also i've used the same model so here is gemini 2.5 flash if you see over here yes the balls tend to go out of the cube so this is what i've seen in other llms also which i have tried right uh, but looks decent sometimes the balls tend to go out of the cube rotating cube right now here is gemini 2.0 flash so basically it was not able to generate this code there is some kind of an error i believe i'm not able to okay see over here uh it was not it was not generating any code over here right and here is gemini 2.5 flash light which is also good the output of gemini flash 2.5 light uh a little bit of sometimes the cubes uh, sometimes uh, balls come out but this is quite close to gemini 2.5 flash so what is the conclusion in my limited experiments so in my limited experiments i find 2.5 flash and 2.5 flash light to be better than gemini 2.0 flash at least in cases where some kind of thinking or reasoning is required right I find Gemini 2.5 flash to be the most economical thinking model. Okay. Uh, so Gemini 2.5 flash light has a similar price as Gemini 2.0 uh, flash. So maybe Gemini 2.5 flash light is the new economic champion for your large language models. Right. Among the Gemini family, I find Gemini 2.5 flash light for its cost to be very good in terms of performance the caveat here is that this is very limited testing you need to test on a lot more prompts for your use cases to make this decision but i kind of get an intuitive feeling that gemini 2.5 flash light is a very good model for a lot of use cases right 
So you need to think for your use cases whether you need to experiment and see whether Gemini 2.5 flash light will be enough or you need to use Gemini 2.5 flash. Okay. But this is some silent increase in price from Google. They don't tell you explicitly, but you need to be aware of this 6x cost increase between Gemini 2.5 flash and Gemini 2.0 flash for the output price, output tokens per 1 million tokens. And similarly for the input 1 million tokens also you have a 3x price for thinking. So if you have non-thinking kind of problems, I think still a Gemini 2.0 flash or a Gemini 2.0 flash light will give you good performance. So this was a short video comparing these three models. Hope this video is useful. See you in another video.